Yeah. For these reasons, the department has consistently taken the position that UDA requirements apply to all services programs and activities of state and local governments. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you roll call? Alvin Buckhart? Here. Alvin Blank? Here. Alvin Nolan? Here. Alvin Bell? Alderman Wilson? Here. And Alderman Lewis? Here. I get a motion to uh, for approval on January 2nd, 2024. Meeting minutes, please. So moved. I have a second? I second. All in favor? <laughs> aye. 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 I get a motion to approve of tonight's agenda. <clears throat> so moved. I have a second, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Moving on to special items. None. Appointments to boards and commissions. Appointment to uh, chief of police. Staff report, please. As reported last week, uh, I conducted an interview of Scott last week. Met with him to discuss taking on the role of police chief here in Ashland. Um, Boone County was gracious enough to perform the pre-employment background check for us prior to appointment to chief. In light of that interview and that background check coming back satisfactory, I'm making the recommendation to the mayor that Scott Young be appointed as the chief of police for Ashland. That is subject to the mayor's appointment and approval of the board. I also would like to say I would like to appoint Scott to the police chief also. Uh, so at this point, I'll take a roll call vote. Can I have a motion to appoint Scott Young as chief of police? I'll make that motion. Can I have a second? I'll second. Alma Bocard? Aye. Alma Blank? Aye. Alma Mo? Aye. Alma Wilson? Aye. Alma Lewis? Aye. Motion carries. Congratulations, Scott. We will be swearing him in after the meeting if you'd like to stay afterwards for that. Thank you. Schedule public comments. I see none. Just a reminder. Uh, all written comments need to be into the city clerk by Wednesday before the meeting date. Public hearing none. Introduction of the first readings were had none. Old business, moving on. None. New business. Resolution 2024-4, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with SSCC Incorporated for the Angel Lane Culvert replacement. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the board, <clears throat> for you this evening, uh, is a staff recommendation to issue notice of award to Shelby Staff Construction Company of Ashland for the Angel Lane uh, culvert replacement project. Recently, we conducted a competitive bid for this project, and Shelby Staff Construction Company came in as the apparent low bidder with a bid amount of $97,260. Uh, it is anticipated that this work will take only a few weeks to be to be completed once they have received the box uh, concrete box culvert that's precast. Uh, so we are kind of stuck on waiting on what their timeline will be before we can actually begin the project. But uh, <clears throat> I've known Shelby for quite a while, know the type of work that he does, the quality of work that he does. He's completed work for several different governmental uh, entities within the area to include Boone County Regional Sewer District, Consolidated Public Water Supply District Number One in the City of Columbia, and has rave reviews. Any questions for James? Yeah, I've got a couple of questions. The, when looking at the bids, there's quite the range on there. So what? How are they able to do it for so much less? And what's the difference in the bids? Their shop is approximately one quarter mile from the job site, so they had extremely low mobilization expenses compared to a lot of the other bidders, and frankly, a lot of the other bids in comparing line by line for the line's share of the work, which would be the installation of the box culvert, 
there were variables of over $100,000 between all of the bid tabs. What kinds of things were variable? It doesn't break down. Other than just in those line items of that bid, there was like we had one bid that was north of $300,000. They were out of, I want to say Jefferson City, but I don't recall for certain. But just $170,000 on that bid line versus $70,000 from a few of the other ones. It seemed to me that there was a fair amount of markup looking at the, just kind of reading between the lines on the bids. But we anticipated that Shelby Sapp was going to be pretty competitive being that it's right at, I mean, literally drive out of the driveway and turn to the left and there's a project site. But he did have the lowest mobilization expenses by far. And you think that that bid is reasonable, that that can be completed for that? I do. Okay. Any questions for Jane? It's going to be a motion to approve resolution 2024-4, a resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with SSCC Incorporated for Angel Lane Culvert replacement. Any second? I'll second. Alderman Lewis? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. Alderman Bell? Aye. Alderman Old? Aye. Alderman Plank? Aye. Alderman Bocart? Aye. Moving on. Resolution 2024-5, a resolution authorizing the purchase of a gooseneck dump trailer. Mr. Mayor, members of the board, before you is a recommendation from staff to purchase a gooseneck dump trailer. The purpose of this trailer would be to be utilized in the sewer, sanitary sewer division for the hauling and disposal of biosolids. This was a budgeted item in the FY24 budget. However, it was budgeted at $15,000 rather than where the bids came in at. We attribute that to just simply inflation, material increases, and labor increases. We recently conducted a competitive bid process for the purchase of this trailer. It had some very specific items that were required in order to be usable by the sewer division because of the clearance underneath the belt press discharge conveyor belt. We received three bids. The apparent low bidder was Kauffman Trailers of Lexington, North Carolina. There was a slight hiccup in that Kauffman Trailers bid did not include shipping, as was one of the itemized portions of that bid. The next lowest bidder, ECB Solutions, was a difference of just under $5,000. And it was for them to purchase the exact same trailer from Kauffman Trailers and then ship it. I conferred with legal counsel, Todd and Nathan, and both agreed that we were able to accept Kauffman Trailers' low bid of $19,188 and pay the freight transport costs separately. Bids were tabulated and verified for accuracy. Kauffman Trailers is a reputable vendor. They've been in business for over 30 years and have sold trailers and done business with governmental entities across the country. One point that I would like to mention is that the purchase of this trailer will allow staff to begin transporting biosolids ourselves and eliminate the need for public services to do that. If you were to see the bills from Republic Services, we anticipate a $3,000 to $5,000 a month savings just by bringing that labor cost in-house. Typically, we have a 20-yard roll-off out there, and it costs us just about $2,400 each time they come pick it up twice a month. So eliminating that, along with taking our biosolids to the Columbia landfill rather than the Republic-owned landfill in Jefferson City, we expect, rather than paying approximately $90 
per ton, we were paying $6 per ton. And then we also have an application in for our wastewater discharge permit renewal through Department of Natural Resources that will allow us to implement land application, which several municipalities and organizations do, to where we would not even have the tonnage fees at that point. So how were the shipping costs estimated? Where did that number come from? The $2,000? $2,000. So, yes, that was, thank you, I forgot about that. I had previously, excuse me, when I first set this bid out to go live, had looked online at some online freight boards, and I submitted a quote request from a website called U-Ship, which is merely a freight board. The estimation that U-Ship had given me was approximately $1,200. Just to get some more concrete numbers, I went ahead and advertised this for shipping just to get some quotes, and I've been receiving them all week, approximately $1,500 to $2,000, and then there's some fees on top of that, the freight board charges. I anticipate that we shouldn't have much difficulty getting this freight completed for $1,750 pretty easily. So if we accept the bid from Kauffman, we're in charge of determining how it's shipped and who ships it, so we can kind of dictate our own instead of rely on them to tell us what they'll ship it to us for? Yes, ma'am. Okay. From what I understand, Kauffman has the trailer already built out and on their lot. Once the check clears, we can set up freight and have it here within a week and be able to start saving those Republic fees. I think you need to raise your long-term expenses. I think you're selling yourself short. On the $750 a year? Well, on that, Mr. Mayor, I just went with what you would see typical for routine maintenance on something like that. Long-term, as we build out budgets, we would look at the useful lifetime of the trailer and look at depreciation and when we would need to replace it. Yeah, but I think if you do it up front and then if you don't spend it all, it's fine, but it's better than going back and doing line item changes and all that in the budget. I understand. You know, might as well just do it all at once. Any other questions for James? All right. Can I get a motion approving resolution 2024-5, a resolution authorizing the purchase of a deep snake dump trailer? So moved. Can I get a second, please? Second. Alderman Bocart? Aye. Alderman Blank? Aye. Alderman Elwood? Aye. Alderman Bell? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. And Alderman Lewis? Aye. Moving on to reports, I just have one thing. Have we submitted all of our ARPA funding? No, we're sitting down all together on Friday to wrap up. Get all that done? Yeah. All right. Thanks, sir. City Administrative Report. Just, again, a reminder on the MML workshops that are coming up. Legislative Conference, February 20th to 21st. Elected Officials Training, June 6th through 7th. And then the Annual Conference in September from the 15th to the 18th. So, obviously, the Legislative Conference is the most pressing one. So, if you're interested in going to that one, please let me know so I can get those registrations completed. As a reminder, our first bond workshop, public workshop, will be tomorrow evening from 6 to 8 right here. And then we have another one on the 28th right here from 2 to 4. That's all I have. Do we need to bring anything for that tomorrow night? No. Refreshments or anything? No. City Attorney's Report? No report. I will have something for you all enclosed. All right. Thank you. Public Works Director? Mr. Mayor, I just wanted to brief the board quickly on the Perry Avenue Extension Project along with a couple of other items. All of the concrete work is complete. The roadway itself is open. All that remains to be completed on that project is some final grading, seeding, and straw seeding and mulching. And the weather just flat out is not conducive to that. But as you recall, the board granted the extension until April 30. Aside from that, once all those items are completed, we anticipate scheduling a ribbon cutting and doing some PR stuff with that. Angeline Colbert, we've already talked about that. Now that Perry Ave is coming to a conclusion for the most part, we'll be turning our attention back to the Taft Grant Sidewalk Project partnership with the YMCA School District. And as for parks, we 
currently working our way through that RFQ process uh, to start some large scale improvements over the next several years. Moving on to community development room monthly report. Is he not here? He's not here since he didn't have any items on the agenda, but uh, the report is, is in the packet if you have any right. questions. For All right. Moving on to Board of Alderman report. Alderman Bopart. I have no report. Alderman Blank. No report. Alderman O. Um, we all received an email today from someone in our ward, in Ward 2, so I just want to make sure everybody takes a moment or two to read it later when you have a chance. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alderman Bell? Yeah, I spoke to the sender of that email, so if anyone has any questions, happy to share um, those comments, but um, probably best you review the email first. All right, thank you. Alderman Wilson? No report. And Alderman Lewis? No report. All right. Any comments or concerns from the general public for Alderman? I get a motion to go into closed session of a Missouri chapter 610 210 hiring and firing, uh, Article 2, uh, Article 3 and 1. I'm sorry. Can I get a motion? So I have a second. Alderman Bocart? Aye. Alderman Blank? Aye. Alderman Old? Aye. Alderman Bell? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. Alderman Lewis? Aye. Let's go into the session.
this time we have no findings report. I get a motion to adjourn. So moved. I get a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.